Hello students of grade 11, Applied Maths. We are doing quantification and numerical application. On this subtopic, we are going to discuss about the calendar. So as you know, there are 12 months, Jan January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And you also know that January has 31 days, February has 28 or 29, March has 31, April has 30 days, May has 31, June is 30, July is 31 days, August 31, September 30, October is 31, November is 30, and December is 31. So how many months I have? 31 days. If you count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 months I have. 31 days and how many months is 30 days 1 2 3 4 4 months and one month is either 28 or 29 days the basic thing I'm just discussing some facts related to calendar if you can see Leap year, we have 366 days, that means in the month of Feb, we have 29 days. So, each known century year, divisible by 4 is a leap year. Like, this is divisible by 4, it's a leap year. This is also divisible by, by 4, it's a leap year. This is divisible by 4, uh, leap year. This is divisible by 4, leap year. This is divisible by 4, leap year, okay? Even 2020... Is divisible by 4 next 2024 will be divisible by 4 that means 2024 will be leap year this year we have leap year in 2020 that is non-century year okay when we say century year century year is a year that is divisible by 400 for example it can be um, 2000 is a century year 1600 is a century year uh, 1200 is a century year this year is also a leap year okay so century year means a year which is divisible by 400 is a leap year and it goes in the multiple of 400 okay uh, 800 next century year would be 2400 so this century years are leap year ordinary year means a year which is not a leap year Having 365 days is called a ordinary year. Clear? Example are 2019, 1987, or uh, 2014. These are ordinary year. This has only 365 days. And it's not divisible by 4 also. And century year like century year which is ordinary are uh, 20 century year which is uh, divisible by 400 is a leap year. Okay? And century year which is not divisible by 4 is ordinary year having 360 having 365 days. Mm -hmm. That is uh, 1900, uh, 1700, 1800. These are all uh, 1500, 1400. These are all non century year. In this year, these are ordinary year, okay? Of course, this 1700 is divisible by 4, but this is non century year. Sorry. This is an ordinary year, okay? These are century year, but this is an ordinary year. We have 365 days only in this year. But in century year divisible by 400, we have 366 days. So these are the example. So in ordinary year, we have only 365 days. Remember that. Ordinary year, which is century, 
is this one example okay so as i said ordinary year we have 365 days leap year we have uh, 366 days now how to find the odd days we have to divide we have to divide by 7 if we divide this by 7 we get a remainder 7 5 is 35 and 7 2 is 14 remainder is 1 so we have 52 weeks and one extra day is coming this extra day is called a odd, odd days okay so in a ordinary year we have we have one odd days in a leap year we have two odd days we have one odd days in a leap year we have two odd days a period of 100 year has in a 100 year we have 24 leap year and 76 non leap year okay you have to remember this um, number of odd days in 100 years we have This one you can just skip for now. We have other formula also instead of doing this. We'll do the other one. Okay. Or we can say also in 100 years. In short only it's better to know. Okay. In 100 years we have. Five odd days, okay. Just remember this. In a hundred years, we have five odd days. Okay. In a hundred years, we have only five odd days. In two hundred years, we have two hundred years means hundred plus hundred, five plus five, ten. Ten days. That means one week and three days. That means in two hundred years, we have three odd days. And 300 years we have 15 means if I divide by 7 again we have one odd days so you have to remember this in 200 years we have three odd days in 100 years we have one odd days in 400 years we have zero odd days see 100 years we have five odd days five odd days five odd days five odd days And in 400 year leap year come one extra days come so it become 21 so when it is divisible by 7 so in 400 years we have zero days no remainder so in short you just have to remember this list to do the exercise okay things to remember February has 28 days in ordinary year and 29 days in leap year uh, number of odd days in the is the remainder on on dividing the total number of days by seven whatever remainder we get after dividing by seven that is the odd days okay uh, odd days ordinary year we have one eight odd days leap year we have two odd days um, 100 years we have five odd days 200 years we have three odd days remember this okay uh, 300 years we have one odd days and multiple of 400 years we have uh, zero odd days multiple of 400 means 800 we have zero odd days um, then 1200 we have zero odd days 1600 we have zero odd days 2000 we have zero odd days you have to remember this okay next is number of odd day in n year this is a formula this formula you have to remember number of odd days in n year means n plus number of leap year okay this is a formula remember this to do the exercise for example number of odd days number of odd days in uh, in the year 1976 or in 76 years okay in 76 or 75 years so what we'll do n is 75 so 75 plus till 75 how many leap years there number of leap year to get the number of leap year we have to divide by 4 if I divide this by 4, we'll get 418 is 72, so 18 leap year we'll get. So plus it, you'll get uh, 3, 7, 8, 93 odd days, okay. Again, this is not complete. 93, we have to divide by 7. 
but I'm uh, just explaining how to use this formula. Okay. Now to find the actual odd days, we have to divide by seven. Ninety-three one is seven one is seven. Twenty-three seven four is or seven three is twenty-one. Two. So final odd days is two odd days. I'm just helping you to how to use this formula. I'm just trying to help you by giving an example. Okay. Now at the end, if you get zero, final answer is zero. That means it must fall on Sunday. At the end, if you fall on Monday, one means Monday, two means Tuesday, three means Tuesday, Wednesday, four means Thursday, five means Friday, and six means Saturday. Now this will help you to find out. In which day we were born? Suppose you were born in two, uh, 6 January 2000, uh, say 2002 or 2005. So do you know on that particular day, which day was there? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which day was there? Or uh, India got independent on 15 August 1947. On 1947, which day was there? Can you find? So if you know all this thing, you'll be able to find out that particular day okay when you were born or when your friends were born that particular day by using the calendar formula you can find out so write all these things before we do the exercise thank you